Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and uh, today I want to talk about Dun Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. There are zero spoilers in this content for Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Zero spoilers. You will not be spoiled by the film it, with this video. Okay. All right. So uh, I just got done seeing. It is now Sunday, March 19th. I had advanced tickets for this film. I brought eight people and myself. So my party for this uh, film was nine people, right? So I have already given nine ticket dollars at $11 a piece. So I've already spent, I have already spent $120 of money to support this film. And it's 12 days away from public release, right? Um, how is, so first of all, how is the movie? It is spectacular. It is an absolutely amazing film. It has fantastic action. It has fantastic film humor. It is unbelievably, like, it is shockingly consistent and faithful to the actual Dungeons and Dragons core rules and consistent with their traditions of Dungeons and Dragons, the modern rules, and the legacy rules. It is incredible. Um, it is clearly made by people who genuinely had a love of Dungeons and Dragons from top to bottom. It is absolutely spectacular. It goes even further than that. Not only is the film just genuinely spectacular, it is highly enjoyable with lots and lots of Easter eggs for anyone who has ever seen Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and for, for anyone who's ever played Dungeons & Dragons, any edition, right, is going to be delighted by this film. And, um, and I, legit, if you have ever rolled a D20, if you've ever heard the words, roll for initiative at a physical table, you're going to love this movie, okay? If you have never played Dungeons & Dragons, right, you are going to love this movie. Um, it is truly incredible. I, you know, we, there are so many horrible cocked sideways uh, Hollywood projects where Hollywood betrays the source material betrays you know where the studios betray the directors where the directors betray the um, the actors no one is betrayed right like this is a lovingly created amazing Dungeons and Dragons story and if you have never seen if you have never played Dungeons and Dragons and you don't care to licks for Dungeons and Dragons you're going to walk into this movie and if you paid $36 in a New York most expensive theater at prime time, you're going to be like, I got every penny's worth. That was a thoroughly enjoyable, brilliant, beautiful film. This is it. And I am going to tell you right now, Sunday, March 19th, 2023, is, the fir is day one is day one is day one of the Dungeons and Dragons cinematic universe there I am fully convinced there will be 35 films 10 to 15 years from now of Dungeons and Dragons you are looking at a legacy you are looking at day one of Dungeons and Dragons cinematic universe do get your tickets now for the public release on March 31st Get your tickets now for the public release for March 31st. This thing is a banger. It is absolutely spectacular. I envy you being able to see it for the first time. I will never be able to see it for the first time again. I'm going to see it many, many, many times. And one of the things I'm very uh, excited about is I just got to see the film and experience the film as the film. What I'm really excited about is being when I when I go to see it with the public on March 30 on March on Thursday March 30th, right? Um, I'm going to be able to just actually I'm going to kind of sit near the back of the theater and see the reaction of America to this film, and I am so thrilled. And I, I thank you for letting me share this with you. And we are here. If you love Dungeons and Dragons, you're going to love this movie. We have waited 40 nine years for this to be the moment when Hollywood and Dungeons and Dragons shake hands and that handshake is the start of a beautiful friendship. We are here brothers and sisters of the ISO uh, of the ICO Sahedron we are here. I am so so thrilled. Um, I cannot 
wait for each and every one of you to see this film. If you have seen the film, if you were able to get advanced tickets the way I was, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, please consider liking and subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.